Welcome, this is uh, Inkscape. It is a vector-based program for creating illustrations. In this video we're going to look at how we can create uh, objects for use in the laser cutter. So the very specific things that you need to do to make sure that it works for you for the laser cutter. So firstly our overall sort of area here, we've got a menu system up here, we've got some tools down the left hand side and over here you've got features of those tools and this is the really important part, the features. What you're going to do is you're just going to draw some basic lines to create the cutting area for your laser cut. So I'm going to create a basic key ring to start with just so you can have a look and see how the laser cutter works with using vector graphics. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to this tool here, which is the pen tool. Okay, the pen tool allows you to do some great features with curves. So for example, if you just click and let go of the trackpad and then click somewhere else and let go of the trackpad, you'll get a perfectly straight line. If you click and drag without lifting first, what you'll find is that you'll create a curve. Now, one of the things that's really great to start with learning how to use this tool is just to do a love heart because the love heart has a combination of curves and straight lines. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click and drag again and that'll create me a different curve. And what you'll see is that it creates this tangent and the tangent actually changes the shape of the curve as you change the shape of the tangent. Now, I can't get this entirely accurate here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it as close as possible and I can go back and edit that later on. So I'm going to curve this out, curve down here, and then I want a straight line to end, so I'm not going to click and drag, I'm going to just click once and let go. Now I've got a pretty decent love heart there. What you can do then is you can go back to this tool here, Edit Paths by Nodes, and each one of these little squares here is called a node. So you can actually edit the shape without having to go back and redraw the shape each time. So if I click on this, I can change the shape of the tangents, which gives me a little bit more control. Or I can change the position of the nodes so I can move things up so that I can make it a little bit more symmetrical. Now, when I've done that, it's a half decent love heart, um, there are a couple of things that I need to know about specifically about the laser cutter. So if you want a line to cut, it needs to be this particular color red. So I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to go set stroke and that will set the stroke as red. Um, the other thing that I have to do is I have to make sure that the width of this stroke is 0 0.25. So while this is selected, I need to go over here to the width and I need to change that to 0 0.25. And that particular combination will tell the laser cutter specifically that that's the area that you need to cut out. The next thing you can do, you can, might, I'm going to just put a little square in here. Okay. Now I don't want that fill to be um, black, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to change the fill from black to none. Okay. But I do want that stroke to be 0.25 again because I'm going to cut out a little area there for my keychain. Okay, now if you want to engrave things on it, you can put other shapes and things on it. Okay, these will cut out because they are red and 0.25, but if I change those to black, they will actually engrave solid lines there, remembering to set the fill and the stroke as well, because if the stroke is red, that's the outside of it, if it's red, it will cut out and then engrave everything that you have. So set stroke. Okay, so I can leave that as is if I want, and it'll engrave an outline. Or if I go set fill, it'll engrave a solid shape. Once you've done that, you can just save it as a normal document and then submit it for um, laser cutting. 